Hey guys, it's Haley here again with Real Time Animal Rescue. I'm really happy you're joining me again for another video. Today, I wanted to show you a super quick and easy lunch, kind of like egg salad, but we're gonna use tofu instead of the traditional version of eggs. So I've got one block of firm pressed tofu. I try to get as much liquid out as possible. If you have a tofu press, this is an awesome time to use it. If not, you can either do a plate tofu wrapped in a dish towel and another plate with something heavy on top to kind of squeeze that liquid out or you could be super lazy like me and just do it with your hands so you can see it's pretty it's pretty squeezed out but um it it would be a lot drier had i used a tofu press so we're going to take about three quarters of the block and just crumble it into the bowl this is going to be kind of like the yolk part um, and then over here, this is like the egg white part. So just, you know, chop up as much as you think. The best thing to do is um, err on the side of caution with the yolk part because this can easily be crumbled into this consistency. So I'm just going to start by kind of crumbling that up more. This is my favorite thing to take to work for lunch, especially in the warmer months. Um, you can have it on bread, bagels, crackers, whatever you, whatever vehicle to get the tofu egg salad to your mouth will work. Just eat it with a spoon if you want. It's, it's really that good. That's pretty good. We're going to take some egg and dairy-free mayonnaise. I'm going to start with a good heaping spoonful and I can already tell we're gonna need another good heaping spoonful. It's about time for me to break out another jar. I always have this stuff stocked up. It's my favorite. I'm using the Hellman's plant-based mayonnaise. If I was wondering. And as always the recipe will be linked so don't try to scribble as fast as I'm talking, there will be a readable version. And we're gonna come in with some mustard. Use whatever mustard you like. You can use spicy brown, Dijon, regular. I'm using Dijon. Good squeeze of that. I like a little acid in mine, so I'm gonna add some juice of um, garlic stuffed olives. You could also do lemon or pickle juice. Just a splash. Onion powder. Measure with your heart. Make sure the lid's off before you do that. Well, goodness. Sometimes you just got to get in there and be aggressive with it. A little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna do some chives for color. Dill would also be great with this, but use whatever you have on hand. Okay, now it gets to the fun part. So we're gonna start with a little bit of nutritional yeast. Use as much or as little as you like. This stuff is so good for you and it'll help bring in the color of a traditional egg salad. Little bit of turmeric. You're really just using this for color. You don't want it to taste too much like turmeric. Pepper, measure with your heart. And this is the most important step. Himalayan black salt. This has a sulfury kind of smell. It smells like eggs as soon as you open it. I got this on Amazon and it'll last me forever. It is a staple in a plant-based kitchen, especially in egg dishes. And a little goes a long way. So a couple shakes of that and you're good. Mix this up and see where we're at. Looking 
pretty good. I'm gonna add our pseudo egg whites. I can definitely smell that black salt. Mix that in. And you've always got a taste test as you go. So at this point, we can try it and see what it needs. I don't know, that's pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit more Dijon. Definitely does not need more salt. Mm, we'll do a little more olive juice too to kind of cut with the acid. You can still see kind of like the chunks of the cut up tofu we use to resemble egg whites. That is perfect. And again, you can adjust this to your taste. If you like super, super mustardy egg salad, use more mustard, less mayonnaise. If you like it a little bit easier on the mustard, just whatever feels right to you is what we do. I'm just gonna clean out the rest of this so I can toss it. And this is a real kitchen, so our fingers are our best tools. Let's do one final mix. And I think that looks pretty good. Let me know if you guys try this, what you think, what you did differently. And I'll see you next time.